Hello everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Cold Water Tanks. Uh, another update from the Krabitat today. Uh, this was filmed at the beginning of July and the summer is still virtually non-existent here. We barely had uh, any days over 20 degrees Celsius. So it's been no problem keeping the tanks in the basement cold enough. Uh, the temp in the Krabitat is uh, around 15 degrees now Celsius. Uh, which is about the same as it is in my main tank that I keep in my living room. The difference is that that one is running a chiller though. Uh, the little anemone hermit I added a little while ago is doing fine so far. Uh, these guys can have very different personalities. Some are a bit shy and skeptical and tend to go hide in the background whenever I show myself. Uh, but this one doesn't seem to care much if I'm there though. If anything, it seems to be more of the curious type, which is obviously what you want in a tank. Uh, as you can see, this one is missing a claw, but uh, that doesn't seem to bother it much. Hopefully it'll start growing back soon. I have no idea though how long it usually takes for these hermit crabs to, to grow the claws back. Hopefully not too long. I'm still waiting to find more of them, as I'd like to add at least one or two more of these to the tank. And I'm sure I'll find it at some point. Both the anemone and the hermit crab really are stunning creatures, with the purple, orange and pink colors. And they really do stand out in the tank, and they've always been among my favorite tank mates. Mr. Pete, the scorpion spider crab, is uh, still the undisputed boss and champion of the tank though. There might be some bigger competitors introduced at some point, but uh, I haven't really found anything interesting enough of the bigger ones to add to the tank yet. So we'll see how it goes. And Mr. Pete is incredibly cool though with his camouflage growth. The spikes there and everything. And so far the sponges on its back seem to be surviving. Uh, I'm also very happy with uh, Mr. Pete's personality as there is no fighting with any of the other inhabitants. And so far they seem to get along quite nicely and leave each other alone. The orange sponge is looking a bit off though, or at least half of it. I was sort of expecting that though, so yeah, I'm sure it probably won't survive in, in the long run. I will leave it there though until it's obvious that yeah, it's not, not alive anymore. Uh, I've received some liquid uh, phytoplankton, if that's how it's pronounced, I don't know that I've started to spray in the vicinity of the clam once in a while. And hopefully that will help keep this critter alive. And it seems to be doing okay so far, but uh, I don't really know how to tell. Uh, sometimes it's uh, swimming around in the tank, and I've been trying to get some footage of it, but uh, this is the best I've come up with so far. Hopefully I'll be able to get some better better video of this eventually. Does anyone know what's the purpose of its tentacles? And please leave a comment if you do. The common whelk I found at my beach exploring recently is a cool creature too. That you will see much more of for sure in the future. Same with the anemones, which seem to be staying open most of the time. Uh, 
And for now the painted top shell doesn't seem to be bothering it too much. And I really hope it'll stay that way, as I do love these orange snails crawling around on the glass. They're supposedly just algae eaters from what I've been able to find online, but, uh, but I'm sure they were chasing my anemones around when I had them in another tank. Uh, we'll see though. So far so good. I've also added quite a few of these tiny squat lobsters. And usually I just add these to my main tank where they get eaten by various fish quite quickly. But in here there's nothing to eat them, so... So, yeah, they're spread all around the tank here. Also added a few pink shrimp, which also should do better in this tank than, than they do in my main tank. I've never really been able to keep them there very long, as uh, Lumpy the lump sucker usually ends up eating them. Anyways, that's all for this update from the Krabitat. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel and want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you'll see whenever I upload a new video. Also, please leave a comment if you have any kind of feedback, questions or suggestions about the tank or my videos. Or yeah, if you have any requests of any kind. Uh, I really do appreciate it. So until next time, thanks for watching.